Hi guys, so we've got two clips in our timeline. Let's trim the first one somewhere here. The second clip don't need any trimming in my case. Now with the playhead above the first one, switch to the Fusion page. If you're new to Fusion and its layout, I have my preview window in a single mode, just for your information. Okay, so open selection tool, shift plus space, and search for Plana Tracker. With the media in node selected, click add. That will add Plana Tracker just after media in node. Then move the playhead to the spot from which the screen replacement should occur. Let's say here. In the inspector, click set and mark the area of the screen. Plana Tracker can behave really strange sometimes, so probably you will need to try different areas so it tracks the object correctly. Be patient, probably it will not go smoothly at first time. Once you've selected the area, click track to end. I didn't change any other options. Next, switch the operation mode to corner pin and drag the corners so it matches the screen. Then, open the media pool and add your second video. Connect it to the green triangle of the planet tracker. Next, we need to keyframe the gain so that the screen is not visible all the time. So go to the first frame from which you want the screen replacement be visible. Then in the inspector, expand corner pin 1. Let's change apply mode to screen so that it looks more realistic. Now create the first keyframe. Move couple of frames further and create another one. Go back to the previous keyframe by clicking this little arrow and set the gain to zero. So this is what we've got. Now to create this photo making effect with the planet tracker selected, open spline. Check gain control, then click zoom to fit. Select both keyframes by tapping control A, then right click, ease and search for outback cubic. Then make this line to look more something like this. Let me preview. Yeah, it's blinking. So we're done in Fusion page. Let's go back to the edit page now. Open effects, video transitions and search for zoom in transition. Apply it to our clips. Place the playhead in the middle of the transition. Give it a click and in the inspector, increase the zoom scale so it better matches the both clips. In my case, I will focus on this light tower. Also, adjust the zoom center accordingly. Then enable motion blur and set quality to max. It will be very much resource consuming, but totally worth it. Okay, so this is how it looks frame by frame. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers and to the next one.